Julianne is amazing. Julianne is a tour de force. Julianne is a scientific polyglot. Julianne is fearless. She's a role model as a woman scientist. She's a problem solver. She respects people. My mom is an amazing doctor and an even better mother. Julianne's a gem. You just don't find a lot of Julianne's around. While Cornell is really lucky to have Dr. Impradam Gilly. She has a superb reputation in the area of endocrinology. Let's go back to the early 1970s. Julianne is a young doctor, and she hears about a community in the Dominican Republic where children are born appearing to be females and then later on develop male sexual characteristics. That was exciting and new. <laughs> what Julianne figured out was that the people that transitioned from female to male at puberty were missing a particular enzyme that helps the body make active testosterone. Uh, which then turned out to be able to produce a drug that would treat prostate enlargement and baldness. So that is really translational science. I really appreciated what she did because that kind of research is absolutely vital for drug discovery. My mom is a legend among my friends because they all think she invented Propecia. Uh, and while she did uh, the research that led to its development, they, they don't seem to care about the distinction. And so they thank her every day for uh, having full heads of hair. After publishing this in Science in 1974, she continued her training and then her academic career and made a number of other discoveries, headed the Clinical Research Center, and became the first founding and continuing director of the Clinical and Translational Science Center. The CTSC is a treasure for the institution. While Cornell is a leader in clinical research, what we want to do is cure patients. Without the CTSC, without Julianne's leadership, we wouldn't be able to do that at the level that we can at Weill Cornell. She was really a raconteur um, in the various sciences. So she was a natural individual for Tony Gatto, who was dean of the medical school at the time, to encourage her to put in this U54 application. And it has been totally a success story since. Julian has been spiriting it, you know. Not only she got the first grant, she also got it renewed. She got that five-year grant renewed four times, and each time it's worth about $50 million. She is the top grant recipient in the history of, of the medical college. She has not only been able to renew it, but really create a community around it. She has used this grant to bring together institutions throughout the Upper East Side with a mission to improve community health. Her CTSC really goes the entire gamut from preclinical all the way to community service. It's credit to her understanding that good science and technology has to be bridged with making it practical in the local context. She not only helped facilitate our interactions with her center, but also had her own scientific ideas that she brought to the table to make the studies even better. Dr. Imperata McGinley has pioneered opioid prevention. She's also been a pioneer in bringing collaborators to address COVID-19 vaccines. During the COVID crisis, her team went out to the various parts of our community and helped them with the testing that was needed. When the pandemic hit, the division that she built was incredibly strong and unified because she brought people together and gave them confidence and made the division feel like a community. Dr. Imperato is a great teacher in many ways on many levels. It's not just about clinical acumen, knowledge, scientific analysis, it's more than that. And it's very clear when you interact with her, she wants to help you. There's a generation of faculty who owe their success at Weill Cornell to her personal involvement. I'm an admirer of Julianne, I think she is a quintessential physician scientist. We're just incredibly proud of her. I mean, she's accomplished so much through sheer determination and, and hard work. Julianne's impact on Weill Cornell Medicine is unmeasurable. 
She's an extraordinarily intelligent, highly trained physician and researcher, but it's her heart that takes those talents and delivers it to the people who need it the most. And nothing's gonna stop Julianne.